Can y'all believe I've been coming to this job site right here for like three years. It started out on the other side of that building. It was just a dirt lot. Got a truck in front of me anyway, so wait and see. So I was supposed to drop this load off yesterday, but when I got here, it was, uh, it wasn't raining yet, but it was supposed to rain. And obviously they had a damn lightning, a lightning sighting or something. I don't know if y'all know, but lightning in the middle is not a good mix. I went through so many hoops yesterday. First I was here. Now, now you see where I'm at right now. Now we all know as truck drivers, you never want to pull in somewhere if you're not sure if you can get out. Because like I said, I've been coming to this place for a while, so I know how it is. So that road right here in front of me, it used to be able to loop all the way around, but I wasn't sure about how it was set up yesterday. So I stayed out on the street. Now you can see a truck up there right now on that street. Now they be tripping, they be tripping about parking on the street. So the security guard came out and she was like, hey, you can't park on the street. I said, hey, I got an oversized load. And she was like, uh, oh, okay, okay. She was like, well, just stay where you at for now because I got an oversized. The guy in front of me right here, he has an oversized. And there was another one that was just in front of him that had an oversized. And I see he just pulled up. So yeah, finally the guy came out to my truck and he was like, hey man, drop the trailer and we're gonna unload it tonight. So I was like, okay. And he drove off in the pickup truck. As soon as he, as soon as that guy drove off in the pickup truck, my job called me. And they was like, hey, what's going on? They want you to drop the trailer. I was like, yeah, they want me to drop the trailer. And they're supposed to unload it tonight with a yard truck or whatever. So I was still on the street at that point. So I was like, okay, the security guard already said they don't want nobody on the street. So I was like, I can't drop the trailer on the street. So I came in here, talked to the security guard. Security guard was like, oh, you can't drop that trailer right there. You gotta drop it in here, but I gotta call somebody else. Hey, it's real, you know how these job sites are, and this is a big one. So the miscommunication, it's a lot of it. So uh, security guard finally got me inside. She called somebody and was like, yeah, drop it right here. Exactly where I'm at right now. She was like, yeah, drop it right here. I was like, okay. So I pulled in, I got ready to drop the trailer. As soon as I popped the brakes on it, PNS called me back. They was like, hey, don't drop the trailer. Oh, we don't want it, we don't want it to get stolen or whatever. And they they do have a gate up here. They do have a gate, but you know how it is. They were like, yeah, just take the trailer with you. Bring it back in the morning. I'm like, okay. So, but the guy that works here, he was telling me, drop the trailer, come back in the morning by 8.30, pick up the empty trailer. But hey, it didn't work out like that. So here I am back at the job site. Guess what? I just called a guy. Guess what? Didn't answer the phone. Ha, ha, ha.